Well, let me start uh, with the positives. And the positives are that the normalization of U.S. monetary policy is taking place in the context of a growing economy in the U.S. And this is very good news for everybody in the world. The second positive is that the Federal Reserve, after a bumpy start in communication, has finally succeeded in convincing markets that tapering is not tightening. And this is very much contributed to reduce uh, volatility in financial markets. But certainly there are some challenges. Challenges coming from the very extensive process of monetary accommodation, having led to uh, pockets of financial vulnerabilities in certain segments of the U.S. financial system. For example, the very large issuance of uh, low quality corporate debt, the worsening uh, underwriting standards, and the very rich pricing in a number of asset prices, all of these things mean that financial policies really have to be vigilant in order to keep financial stability risks under control. Emerging markets have already been subject to two episodes of volatility, one at the end of May of last year and another one uh, starting in January of this year. And the good news is that in both of these episodes, the capital outflows have been limited. And in those cases where they have been more serious, when countries have adjusted policies in the right direction, this has helped very much stabilize the situation. So I think that this is a very important uh, lesson uh, that has been learned. But at the same time, in emerging markets, there has been a reduction in secondary market liquidity, and this is something which may create problems in case that foreign investors wanted to exit, because there is not sufficient uh, domestic investor base in order to accommodate that movement without very significant increases in domestic asset prices. So that's why it's very important that in addition to having sound macro and financial fundamentals, emerging market authorities are ready to provide liquidity to markets in order to maintain orderly conditions if that were to be needed. Well, in the financial domain, one of the key um, uh, characteristics of the last few years has been the very rapid expansion of non-bank financial intermediation, what is popularly known as shadow banking. And this is an indication of financial deepening, of financial development in China, which is a welcome uh, contribution towards diversifying the sources of financing of the economy. But in the process, uh, there are some concerns regarding uh, financial stability associated with these developments, in particular, the perception of uh, implicit guarantees on the parts of many savers, which lead to an excessive risk-taking as a consequence of moral hazard. So it's very important that the Chinese authorities continue on the work that they have already initiated on enhancing the information they have of the non-bank financial system, um, that they regulate it uh, properly, and at the same time that they remove these implicit guarantees and increase the role of market forces in order to enhance the stability of the overall financial system in China. In the euro area, very substantial progress has been made recently as a result of the policies that have been implemented both at the uh, euro uh, area level and uh, at the national level. And this has helped confidence increase substantially uh, for the sovereigns, but also for the banks. But it's still a fact that credit remains very low, particularly in stressed euro area economies and very significantly for corporates and for small and medium-sized enterprises. This, of course, is a result of problems having to do both with credit supply and credit demand, but something that would help very much remedy the low credit going to small and medium-sized enterprises is to finish the job of repairing uh, banks' balance sheets, addressing the corporate debt overhang in some of these economies, and also starting 
uh, securitization on a sounder footing and developing local debt markets for uh, smaller enterprises in some of these countries.